So in this one take video, I want to talk about what exactly makes something more cinematic and pleasing to the eye. And no, it's not about getting a ring light and lighting and getting the best camera. The often most mistaken and under talked about thing is texture. So I'm going to show you one simple thing. Pick up this camera right now, flip it around. Here I have me against this wall. And now I'm going to be doing my own talking head video, talking about whatever, how I can help you. Sure, can get a little boring. And you looking at me, even though I'm not the ugliest person out there, it doesn't seem cinematic. So what actually makes something more scenic? I did not cut there, my Nikon Z battery actually died on me. So we were talking about what makes them them something more scenic. Well, scenery, take your video as a Photoshop layer. And if you guys are familiar with Photoshop, you have the base layer, you have your mask layer, you have your adjustment layer, you have your color, you have your grading, same with video, same with video. So what that means is, hey, I just have me here and uh, that's all you're getting, me in a little tank top. But, but, let's flip it over here. Get me a nice little uh, blazer, little jacket going on and now, not only have I added a little bit of texture to my video, I myself am a little bit more textured, meaning that there's a little bit of depth. And that will be the key theme in throughout this video of how I'm going to slowly, slowly show you how this video is going to be a little bit more cinematic, simply by doing a couple of things. Even if you don't even have the greatest camera gear, and it's like equipment, it really comes down to texture, right? So now my little mic here, let's open this up. So now I am wearing a blazer. I'm like, cool story, bro. But uh, if I sit against this back wall, right? There's not much going on except for Tupac. And if this is completely white, there wouldn't be any sort of contracts. So just like anything, you want to slowly layer up your video. How can you add that? How can you start adding more depth and dynamic? Well, simple thing is, what's in your background? So if I scoot down here, bring this a little over here, that suddenly just added a little bit more life into this video. Let's say you have one of this lying around. Now you want to focus a little bit of how is this light lighting up your main focus of the video, AKA yours truly. So now crank this, I'm going to bring my ISO all the way down to 100. Turn my key light off just a smidge. Does this video have any personality? If anything, the way the light is shining, probably a little higher, point it down and have it directly behind the camera. But does that have any personality? That does have any life and texture? And you're like, meh, just looks like another dude with a blazer on, dress shirt, no big deal. I added some backlight. That backlight is able to have more texture, more depth. So now you know that, hey, there's lighting in the back. There's me, there's this light. And the secret is there's also a light up above. So now, not only is there just a basic white wall, there's posters. Shout out to Mac Miller, Frank Ocean, and J. Cole. Now your video is looking a little bit more spicier. 
and how you can get that look was just simply moving around and changing a little bit of camera settings, bringing your ISO down so you get your best video quality as possible, having a backlight and having a ring light. But because I'm shooting on a Sigma 1.4 lens, what that means is if I get really close up to the camera, the entire back is blurred. So let's take advantage of that. So what I'm gonna do now is bring this camera, instead of having it there and sit down, how about I add even more texture, right? So what I'm gonna do is get y'all to stand up. So now I'm positioning myself roughly in the middle. And this has just added just a tad smidge of texture to the video or more depth. Here I have my light, but one thing I don't like about these lights is it is very harsh, right? This onto here isn't the most prettiest. So what I like to do, actually shoot it against this white wall right here. I bounce it up and I use the wall as a deflector or a diffuser. Bring that back. Bring this light adjusted. Crank it on max. And now, because it's a little dark, I'm gonna bring up my ISO just a smidge. And now you have the left of me and the right of me something. It's just not a basic wall. You have the light right here. I can change the tone. Increase my lighting there. I can also have a secondary softbox right here. And then now, this is much more scenic in the sense that there is a little bit more depth to this personality. And because it's white, I'm gonna put on the more depth and dynamic the video itself will look. What the heck? Y'all see this? Why is it? Maybe got something on here. That's unfortunate. But now, right here, some depth to this video to make it a little bit more scenic. So like I said, what I did there was diffuse the key light, add a little backlight, have a little dynamic of whatever's in the background. Maybe you yourself, people often forget. You can add a thing or two to the video to make yourself stand out, especially if you're a content creator and making content. How do you go from the initial five seconds of this video where it's just a blank wall versus to something a little bit more personality, you know what I mean? And of course, who yourself is on camera also adds another depth, another layer. So once you have your base of whatever you're filming, this doesn't even have to apply with me. This can apply with an object. This can apply with a subject. So me adding this on, right? And adding more things. And then last but not least to make this more scenic, you add a color grade. You color correct, you color grade, and that adds much more depth and texture. Depth and texture and how you frame and compose everything whether it is the more minimal you go, that itself is a look, the more depth, the more things you add, the more personality there is, that is what makes something cinematic. You can take everything away and still apply, let's say, having depth and texture within a shot. For example, this with me sitting in the ocean, there's depth to that. Me compared to a white wall, there is no depth. How you layering and how you're even talking on camera, whether you're talking really quick or whether you're talking really slow, adds more depth to your storyline. But I digress. This theme of cinematics and how you ultimately make your visuals a little bit more compelling is about a combination of, yes, understanding some basic form of um, camera gear and, and lighting, but also who you are on camera, how everything is laid out, how the shots is, and how is the light hitting the subject in way where right, right now, my big shiny head is getting some reflections. What if I just 
turn that off. Just that little shift that I did with this ring light, that just changed how that lighting was hitting my face. Turn off the ceiling light, and that adds more texture. Even if I stand really far here, in comparison to, let's say, if I took a shot and I filmed right here. Completely different looks. What about if I sat there and I was the person behind me? If I was filming myself, how would I film behind me? How would I make something look really dark and moody? Think about that. But this was just the little basics as I am slowly selling the majority of my camera gear. The shelf is getting more and more slim for a big move. But if you guys want to get serious about content creation and how you take your mediocre content and start taking content seriously, link is in the description below. One free month on Skillshare, access all my mini courses. You want to get help from me, I have a cinematic course, link in the description below. And if you want to help me and support me directly, give this video a like. My name is Peter, you're watching Broke Virginia Collective, where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something. Cheers, guys.